Have you ever wondered how much your bad habits might be eroding your confidence? Today, we're diving deep into the subtle yet destructive habits that could be chipping away at your self-assuredness. We'll be shining a light on 10 common habits that, despite seeming harmless, may be sabotaging your confidence levels. From procrastination to negative self-talk, from comparing yourself to others to ignoring self-care, we've got a lot to unpack. So buckle up and stick around to discover the 10 bad habits that could be undermining your confidence. First on the list, and perhaps most common, is procrastination. Now you might be thinking, hey, I'm just good at working under pressure. But let's face it, procrastination is a silent confidence killer. It creates a cycle of stress and guilt, where you're always playing catch-up and never feeling quite good enough. When you put things off, you're not just delaying a task, you're delaying success. You're telling yourself, I can't handle this right now. And that's a direct blow to your self-confidence. So how do we break free from this habit? It starts with time management. Prioritize your tasks, set achievable goals, and follow through. It's okay if you don't get everything done in one go. The key is to start and to keep going. Procrastination might seem like a harmless habit, but it can seriously dent your self-confidence. Remember, the longer you wait to start, the harder it gets. Next up is a habit that many of us are guilty of, negative self-talk. This destructive habit can be like a dark cloud, overshadowing your confidence and painting a poor self-image. It's like having a personal bully, constantly whispering discouraging words in your ear. Think about it, if you're always telling yourself, I'm not good enough, or I can't do this, then you're setting yourself up for failure before you even begin. It's essential to understand that your words have power. They can either build you up or tear you down. Now let's flip the script. Positive affirmations can work wonders for your confidence. Instead of berating yourself, try saying, I am capable, or I can handle this. And remember, self-compassion is key. It's okay to make mistakes, to not know everything. There's strength in acknowledging your imperfections and still choosing to love yourself. What you tell yourself matters, so make it positive. Third on our list is a habit that's only gotten worse with the rise of social media, comparing yourself to others. In this digital age, it's easy to fall into the trap of scrolling through perfectly curated lives and feeling like you just don't measure up. This comparison game can lead to feelings of inadequacy and plummet your self-confidence. You're judging your behind-the-scenes reality with someone else's highlight reel. But here's the thing to remember, you are not them. Your journey, your experiences, your successes, and even your struggles are unique to you. They shape who you are. Self-acceptance and embracing your individuality are key. Instead of comparing, focus on your progress. Celebrate your small victories and recognize your growth. Your worth is not determined by someone else's journey. So let's break free from this toxic habit of comparison. Let's focus on our own path, our own growth, and our own happiness. Remember, everyone's journey is unique. Fourth, we have a habit that often goes unnoticed, ignoring self-care. It's easy to get swept up in the hustle and bustle of life, leaving little time for ourselves. But here's the kicker. When we neglect our well-being, both mind and body, we're essentially sending a message to ourselves that we're not important. This can lead to a drop in self-esteem and confidence over time. Self-care isn't just about bubble baths and spa days, it's about maintaining a healthy lifestyle, which includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate sleep. It's about taking the time to relax and recharge, to engage in activities that bring you joy and peace. It's about treating yourself with the same kindness and respect you'd show to others. Remember, taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's essential. When you prioritize self-care, you're not only nourishing your body, but you're also nurturing your confidence. Take care of yourself because you're worth it. Halfway through our list, we find a habit that holds many of us back, the fear of failure. This fear can be paralyzing, preventing us from taking risks, trying new things, and ultimately growing. We're so afraid to fail that we'd rather not try at all. But what happens when we let this fear rule our lives? Our confidence takes a hit. Now imagine a world where we embrace failure not as a defeat, but as a learning opportunity. Each mistake is a lesson learned, each setback a chance to bounce back stronger. This is resilience, and it's a key ingredient to confidence. So next time you're faced with a challenge, don't shy away because you're afraid to fail. Instead, take it head on. Remember, every successful person has failed numerous times before they've won. Failure isn't the opposite of success, it's a part of it. Remember, 
failure is just a stepping stone to success. Coming in at number six is a habit that can be deceiving, perfectionism. Now, aiming for excellence isn't a bad thing, but when you start obsessing over every detail and strive for absolute perfection, that's where the trouble begins. Perfectionism can lead to chronic stress causing burnout and ultimately, a decrease in confidence. When you're constantly seeking perfection, you're setting yourself up for disappointment because, let's face it, nobody's perfect. You start to beat yourself up over every little mistake and this can severely damage your self-esteem. Instead of striving for perfection, aim for realistic expectations. Understand that it's okay to make mistakes. They're not failures, but opportunities to learn and grow. Moreover, self-acceptance is crucial. Embrace your imperfections. They make you unique, they make you human. Remember, it's about being the best version of yourself, not about being perfect. So the next time you find yourself obsessing over every detail, remember this. Strive for progress, not perfection. Next, we have a habit that can be mentally exhausting, overthinking. Overthinking is like a hamster on a never-ending wheel, constantly spinning but going nowhere. It's a mental drain that can lead to indecisiveness, stress, and a significant drop in self-confidence. The problem with overthinking is that it doesn't just stop at pondering, it spirals, creating a tsunami of thoughts that may bear no actual relevance to the situation at hand. This mental tsunami can be paralyzing, creating a state of perpetual indecision or leading to irrational fears and anxieties. But there's a way out, it's called mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present, experiencing the here and now without judgment. It's about focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you cannot. It's about understanding that perfection is a myth and that it's okay to make mistakes. Remember, overthinking is a habit, not a life sentence. You can break free. Don't let overthinking steal your peace of mind. At number eight, we have a habit that keeps us in our comfort zone, avoiding new experiences. This habit is like a prison of familiarity, it keeps us bound to the known, the comfortable, the predictable. But here's the thing, when we avoid new experiences, we prevent our personal growth. We miss out on opportunities, on learning, on expanding our perspectives. Imagine living in a small room with the same four walls around you, day in, day out. That's what it feels like when you avoid new experiences. It's confining, limiting, and yes, it's comfortable, but it doesn't lead to growth or confidence. Stepping out of your comfort zone, embracing change, is one of the most powerful ways to boost your confidence. Every time you face a new experience, you're proving to yourself that you can handle it. You're building resilience, you're building strength, and most importantly, you're building confidence. Remember, growth happens outside your comfort zone. Second last on our list is a habit that can be damaging, not standing up for yourself. This habit can slowly chip away at your self-esteem and confidence. It's like a silent thief in the night, stealing away your value, one concession at a time. When we fail to stand up for ourselves, we indirectly tell ourselves that we don't matter, that our opinions, feelings, and rights are secondary. This is a dangerous mindset to cultivate and can lead to a diminished sense of self-worth. But let's flip the script. Assertiveness is not about being aggressive or combative. It's about expressing yourself effectively, setting boundaries, and respecting your own needs and desires. It's about knowing your value and refusing to let anyone undermine it. Remember, respect is not something that others bestow upon you. It's something you give to yourself. Assertiveness is a testament of self-respect. Stand up for yourself because you matter. Last but certainly not least, we have a habit that can be the most destructive of all, not believing in yourself. This bad habit is an invisible chain, holding you back from reaching your full potential. It's like a shadow that lingers, casting doubt on your abilities and leading you to miss opportunities that could have been transformative. When you don't believe in yourself, you're essentially telling the world that you don't believe you're capable of achieving greatness, and that decreases your confidence. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But here's the thing, you're more capable than you give yourself credit for. The importance of self-belief can't be overstated, it's the foundation upon which confidence is built. It fuels perseverance, drives ambition, and opens up a world of possibilities. So start believing in your unique abilities, your skills, and your potential to grow. Remember, the journey of self-improvement is a marathon, not a sprint. Believe in yourself, because you're capable of great things. And there you have it. 10 bad habits that could be destroying your confidence. Procrastination, negative self-talk, comparing yourself to others, 
ignoring self-care, fear of failure, perfectionism, overthinking, avoiding new experiences, not standing up for yourself and not believing in yourself. Each one of these habits chips away at your self-assurance. It's vital to recognize them, reflect, and make a conscious effort to break them. Remember, confidence comes from within. So break those bad habits and let your confidence shine.